What's up guys, it's Gary. Hopefully you've had a chance to see the GTR 50 video released by Nissan. If you're finding me for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell for future car videos. I've been getting a lot of questions about the GTR 50 and I'll give you details about it in this video and my thoughts. The GTR 50 is a collaboration between Nissan and Atal Design to commemorate both companies' 50th anniversary, which is why there is a 50 after GTR. We know who Nissan is, but who is Atal Design? They are a design and engineering company based in Italy and known for designing exotic supercar concept cars. The GTR 50 concept is based off of a 2018 Nissan GTR Nismo and will debut in Europe August of 2018. The theme behind the GTR 50 was to create a GTR without limits. The 50th anniversary is dressed in gray and gold with a wider and longer body, but it's slightly lower with 21 inch wheels, which is an oddball size, but that's because it uses a larger six piston front and four piston rear monoblock brake setup. Honestly, I'm not feeling the exterior of this car. It might look cool for some, but to me it's trying too hard to look like something it's not. Is it Japanese or is it Italian? Is there going to be a collaboration on future Nissan cars? I don't know. The front end reminds me of a whale shark with Ferrari 458 headlights. The side mirrors look cool on every concept car, but will never make it to production. The tail lights are reminiscent of the Nissan Concept 2020 Vision Gran Turismo, but since the 4 GT already came out with it, then this would be a copycat. Or you can just say that they both copied it from that pig from Angry Birds. The rear wing indicates active aero, which is pretty cool, but the performance side of me wonders how effective it is, because Pagani was all about active aero, but you don't hear people raving about how great it is. The interior reminds me of a Lamborghini Huracan, and being that Ital design is from Italy, it makes sense. You can have the greatest designer and glamorize something, but at the end of the day, the GTR is about performance, and as the competition is improving, the current R35 GTR has been stagnant. The Nismo GTR has 600 horsepower and the GTR 50 is supposed to have 700 horsepower. Remember the Z-Tune was the ultimate form of the R34 GTR offered by Nissan and had around 500 horsepower. And when the R35 came out, it also had around 500 horsepower. I'm not sure if this will be an indicator of a next generation R36's power output because the GTR 50 is only a concept car. The GTR 50 uses a Nismo built VR38 DETT with Nismo GT3 turbos, larger intercoolers, and a reinforced transmission. A 700 horsepower GTR should be a high 9 or low 10 second quarter mile car. This should put it in line with current supercars like the McLaren 720 or other hypercars which the R36 was supposed to compete with such as the McLaren P1, Ferrari LaFerrari, and Porsche 918. I'm not sure if it'll be able to beat those cars on a track though. We all would like the GTR 50 to give us an idea about the R36 GTR, but that's not the case. The GTR 50 is just a concept car to commemorate the 50th anniversary and should not be thought of as anything else. It's just another concept car like the Nissan Concept 2020 Gran Turismo, so nothing to get excited about because it will never make it to production. Nissan really needs to quit teasing already and focus on the R36. I understand that management has changed there, but we've already seen 10 years of the R35 and continuing, and we've also seen what happens when a car manufacturer hypes things up throughout a long period of time and go hybrid. That hybrid bandwagon has already left and gone, and we've seen McLaren has proven that their gasoline-powered 720S is capable of P1-like numbers without a hybrid system. If anything, go straight to an electric motor and skip the hybrid setup because it overcomplicates things. It seems that Nissan is just playing on the ignorance of people because that video they put out didn't give any details at all. I wasn't even sure if it was supposed to be an R36 concept or a 350Z reborn concept until I did some research. Let me know what you think about the 50th anniversary GTR 50 in the comments section below. I'll see you in the next one.